about yes. energy resilience and uh, in the context of of course the climate adaptation strategy that each country and the world will need to follow uh, at this point in time given the fact that there is a global economic slowdown fiscal space is limited uh, do you believe that there's likely to be a pullback a setback on some of those uh, spends some of the investment that is required I believe actually the crisis that we we have seen in the past few months will accelerate the energy transition and I believe so because while the energy transition in the head of many people or in the mind of many people was seen as a transition for sustainability mm. it's, it's now very clear that it's not only for sustainability in itself so important but it's also about energy security and energy affordability so now both the policymaker and the business and all the stakeholders understand that we do need to make this transition it's not just nice to have but it's a must and so that's why I think while there will be challenges uh, investment will start flowing again and, and fast. Mm. What kind of financing uh, needs do you expect that we are going to be able to see uh, being executed on at least in the next few years whether it's through multilateral agencies or the private sector what's the expectation on that front as we make this transition? Definitely the private sector is going to play a lion role the, the, the private sector has to invest a lot, and, and we are talking here both the industrial sector and the financial sector, right? There is need for investment, but more important, there is need for radical collaboration mm. because the, the transition of the energy system cannot just be incremental. It has to be a step change. And so we need the collaboration that happens just at a different scale between private and public, but also within the private sector across supply chain and value chains.